Hey everyone, here we are at Anderson Pens once again with Lisa Anderson herself. I had asked her last week to tell us about her top 100 pens, no, top five pens under $100, <laughs> and this time she's gonna tell us about her top five pens under 200, but there's a caveat. It's not really under 200, it's 100 to 200. I have my list over here okay. of the pens I think she's going to pick. Having learned a few things from the top five under 100, I'm probably going to do a lot better. But why don't you just tell us what you chose in no particular order. Okay, so you need a swami hat with like your predictions. Or, yeah, or just put them on my forehead. Okay, yeah. awesome. We'll work right. on that. Pen number one. Pen number one. In no particular order. I, have, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> This that is looks like a vintage pen. No, this well, oh, yes and no. A, yeah, this yeah. is a Pilot E95S, and this is in the burgundy uh, body with the champagne cap, which I love. It's beautiful. Comes in black also, right? It comes in black with gold trim. This is modeled after the um, I think it's 1970s. Brian would know uh, 1970s Pilot Elite. I love that it's a long short. I love the nib. The nib's gorgeous. This is amazing. Um, so a long short means that it's kind of short, and then the when it's posted, it's long. It's long, yeah. <laughs> Hence the name. Very good. It's pretty good. Um, my personal pen is a fine. Uh, I use this in Chicago as a tester all the time, and it's just it's a good fit. Yeah, and I love gorgeous. the champagne. That's the. I love the cap. The, the color cap of the cap. Champagne. Very nice. I would call this a Lisa Anderson pen, and you always post it. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful. Love that nib. It's cool. That nib is it's different. Crazy. It's wow. so different from almost everything else I'm that other brands make. I'm not too surprised because that was one of the ones on my list. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? I, don't, I should just maybe fake it and yeah. see if you match that. All right, the next one. This will be easy. The uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So easy. That's I the have second one I got right. Such a collection of these. We're not going to talk about it. Oh. Um, this is kind of a personal obsession. Uh, I love them. I love Sailor in general. Love the Sailor slim size. Uh, the 14 karat gold nib comes in a ton of different colors. Now, see, I wouldn't post it because I, I don't. Oh. I don't post anything that it doesn't require. Like, like this one needs to be posted. Nope. Uh, I love a, that a it Kaveco, posts. Uh, Sport needs to be posted. Very, very nice pen. Yes, I love these. I have. And the right color combination. A few. Yes. You have a few. I have a few. We'll get to my list. I, th I think you have a larger collection of something else, but we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. Um, next is we're going to stick with the Japanese theme. The Pilot That's the Finishing one. Point Decimo. The decimo. Right. Yes. And see, I think, in my mind, this is the one you have a lot of. I have two. Okay, so not a lot. Why no. do I think you love these so much? Well, I do. Okay. They only come in so many colors, but this one we originally bought in San Francisco from somebody over the table. Uh, we traded, and I contacted um, John Lane, who was at Pilot at the time, and said, you know, we need to have these in the U.S. This is crazy. Why don't we have this? Um, a little bit later, they brought them in. Um, I have this, and I have the burgundy. This is champagne? This is champagne. This is the most beautiful decimal. And the well, the navy's really pretty. That talks is, to me like this, every okay, day at the store. Slightly more beautiful. Okay. And the decimo is slightly thinner. Slightly thinner slightly than thinner the regular than vanishing, vanishing point. point. Which but still, I like. Just the Click. Vanishing point. Vanishing and point. you know, for some people, the clip location uh, is a problem for some people. Um, I don't find it. A like problem at all. I find it actually helps you hold it because the nib is so small that it helps, especially if you're a newbie, um, really helps you hold it properly so that you get all of the nib on, all the tipping on the page. And edge. the cap on this one is the most convenient of all. Yes. It's, it's when just you, a click. <laughs> yes. And when you put it in your pocket, it always sits upright. Yeah. But yeah. Just click and go. People like it because it's got a Mechanism, mechanism that reminds them of a ballpoint refill, yep. of a ballpoint pen, but it's a fountain pen. I know a lot of, um, actually, chefs, because they keep them in their pocket there, and they can only use something that clicks. Right. So that, or a vanishing point, uh, is what they prefer. Cool. All right. Okay. Next. Next. So I'm not sure if this is cheating or not. We'll find out. Okay. So I have the um, fairly new, as in like brand new, uh, the Estherbrook JR in the Fantasia color. Why would that be cheating? Well, because it's limited. 
Oh, that's true. It yes. is limited. Uh, this was actually my Valentine's Day present. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Uh, I actually have one of these, too. <laughs> Do you really? In the, Fantasia? In the Fantasia? So we're twinsies? We are. Great. Although I got the big broad nib on it. Oh, no. Mine's a fine. Always a fine. Always fine. Um, I love the size. I love that it posts. Um, I never post mine. How can you not post it? What do you do with your cap? I just put it on the desk. You so must have a, have a clean I, desk. I have a clean desk, yes. <laughs> Plus I have a little uh, pen bed where the pens oh, okay. live, and so I just put it right there. And I close it when I'm done with it. My desk is the cash wrap in Chicago, so it's it's a little more complicated. A little smaller than yeah. my desk. Yeah. Um, but I just, I love the colors. It's sparkly, um, you know. This is really sparkly. sparkly. I know, you love sparkles. Yep. But uh, this just really caught my eye. Gold trim, but that's okay. Um, and I just really, True, really I'm not like usually it. a fan of gold trim, but you are. You like, well, rose gold. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I thought you had my pen there for a second. No. But this is your own from Valentine's That is my day. personal, so Very I'm nice. watching you. Okay. We'll say I got that one right, too, and we'll go on to number five. <laughs> my God. Okay. I'm so ready. while I'm ready. I was wandering around and trying to pick my five, I actually I switched know. it up. I just realized something. What? You don't like piston fillers, do you? No. Okay. All right. That means I... Okay. Go All ahead. All right. So... Visconti. I love the Mirage. I like the coloring, um, you know, just like the Rembrandt, just really pretty. I love the magnetic closure. I love that you can personalize it. And I like that the body has facets. Can you post it? Of course you can. Oh, of course you can. You got to get it on there right. But, yeah. Has to be correctly posted, but yes. it can post. The yes. section matches the rest of the pen. Yes, it's beautiful. I suppose it's a cartridge converter filler. It is. And it's uh, not clear. Correct. So it, it Look at checks your all your boxes. I know. Um, yeah, just really nice. Uh, I have this uh, as one of my choices. I also have uh, the Van Gogh, which is over 200, but I love it for all the same reasons. Really great steel nib. Uh, the Van Gogh actually has a um, metal, metal section. section, which I'm not as much of a fan of, so this is just gorgeous. Very so nice there you go. I, I have never written with one of these, but uh, well, ask me nicely. No, I refuse. <laughs> uh, magnetic. Yes. That's who, and that's you know magnets are just fun. Yeah. And I love that you can personalize it. I have not yet, but where do you personalize on the end on oh, that one? On that end. Okay. Yes. Most of the Viscontis, you do it at the top, but on right, this, you do it at I the end. First. Yes. I just have to open it. Okay, you've got a cartridge in there. Very nice. Shall, you, shall I tell you what my choices for yes, you were? Yes, please. I'm curious now. Not my now. choices, but my guesses. I was pretty close. Okay. I think. Swami. I always think I'm close. What was your prediction? Um, I did get a Visconti, but it was a Rembrandt. I do like those. And, the blue fog I thought it was going to be the Van, uh, the Van Gogh's, but then I realized there were more than 200. That breaks so the I, rule. I went down to, yep. to the Rembrandt. I did get a Sailor, yep. but I went with the 1911 standard. Okay. No, I like the flat top better. You, you are a flat top. Okay. I'll just keep that in mind. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I did get a Decimo. Okay. I thought that was your favorite pen of all time. I did pick a JR, but I picked any one of the Paradise. In fact, I was thinking the yellow one for some reason. That is one that I have, and so that would oh, count. Oh, okay. Um, it's just that since this was my newest um, and a gift, I went with that. But it is limited, so did that... Was that cheating? No, no. It's I, your... It's kind of It's your cheating. five pens. Your okay. five pens. Uh, and then I chose the Platinum 3776. The blue with the gold trim fits in our price range. And I thought you liked that blue. And I do. I, I, know, I know you like Platinum. I do, but and I like... The problem is you had to, to narrow it down to five choices. Yes. Um, I like the Platinum because it's a Japanese brand, and the nibs run finer, and I like a finer nib. But your choices are your choices, and I can't they argue are. with them at all, even though you got some of them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. See you next time. All right.